Sometimes, public speaking involves the speaker, answering questions from the audience. What is the best way to handle a question and answer session? That will be the focus of this video. You are watching Secret of Public Speaking. My name is Michael. When your speech involves a question and answer session, do the following five things. 1. Formulate answers to possible question. Anticipate questions you might be asked and formulate the answers you will give to those questions. By doing this you will be well armed to answer with ease most of the questions that you might be asked. 2. Practice the delivery of your answers. Practice how you will answer questions from your audience. Do not think answering questions will be very easy. If you do not answer a question very well, it could lead to further questions, which might throw you off balance. So practice how you will answer to reduce the number of supplementary questions that will be thrown at you. 3. Approach questions with a positive attitude. Be prepared. Some questions may not come the way you would have wanted. Some people are tactless, they will ask questions as if they have something against you. Be calm, do not see it as an attack. If you see it as an attack, the instinctive reaction will be self-defense, which will not be to your advantage in the long run. Therefore, approach every question, no matter how it comes, positively. Smile if possible and commend the person who asked the question. Start by stating why the person may have asked the question or why the question is important. Then tactfully answer the question. 4. Listen carefully when questions are being asked. Listening attentively when someone is talking is evidence that you have respect for the person. Furthermore, you will embarrass yourself if you give an answer that does not address the question you are asked and section of your audience will conclude that you deliberately gave a wrong answer because you are not sincere. So listen attentively to get the question. If for any reason, you did not understand a question, politely ask for the question to be repeated. If someone is asking a question because he misunderstood what you said or because he was not paying attention, restrain yourself from interrupting him or shaking your head in disagreement. Allow him to ask his question before you respond. If someone is moderating the session, allow the person to deal with the audience. All you need to do is to answer the questions when the moderator tells you to do so. It will be helpful if you jot down the questions or points that will help you remember the questions and answer them correctly. It is wrong for a public speaker to say, I think someone asked about a, uh, am I can't remember. 5. Direct your answers to the entire audience. Everyone in the audience will not ask you a question at the same time. So do not focus your answer on the person that asked the question, rather focus on the audience. One advantage of doing so is that it prevents a personal confrontation even if that is the aim of the person who asked the question. Secondly, when you address the audience rather than a single person, you show respect to the entire audience rather than elevating a single person above the audience. On the other hand, you may want to mention the name of the person who asked the question to cultivate personal and cordial relationship. How will you mention the person's name and still address the answer to your audience? Avoid expressions like, Mr. John, you asked a good question. I want you to know. The speaker started well by commending John but failed to focus his answer on the audience. Look at this. Mr. John, you asked a good question. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know. After commending John, the speaker quickly moved from him alone to the entire audience. The audience will pay attention to the speaker as he is addressing them not just John. This is where the cookies crumble on today's video. Thanks for watching. Our next video will interest students because we will focus on how to handle school debates. On behalf of Joseph Jacob, I wish you a nice day.